the concept of MRS is not restricted to just two goods. Now I can say that good two is the extra money which I have or I, I can say just money. This is the money which I still have after buying good one. So this is my good one and the rest of the money is spent on all the other goods, right? This is spent on all goods. So what does MRS mean in this case? Now this thing you can consider as marginal willingness to pay. So what does that mean? It means that if you would like to consume one extra of good two, how much money you will have to part away with, which makes a lot of sense because when I say MRS is equal to minus two, it means that I'll have to give up two units of good two in order to gain one unit of good one. So if my good two is money, it means that I'll have to part away with two units of money or currency to get one extra of good one. Now the key thing over here as the variant chapter mentions is that stress on marginal and willingness. So when I say marginal, it means that extra very small amount from the point where I am in. So one and two is something which I am saying you for explanation purposes but definitely you cannot have one extra from that point that will change the MRS of itself. So you have to think in terms of small changes right. So that's marginal for you. What's willingness? Now when I say willingness what I mean is that that is something which I would like to do. I am willing to do but Ultimately, the price is not dependent on your likeness. It is dependent on various lots of other factors as well. So the price at which the good is trading in, the price of good one, essentially P1, is going to be very different than the MRS in lot of cases. But let's say your price over here of good one is less than MRS. So definitely you would like to trade here. You would like to have more of good one. In the next video, we will discuss the connection of MRS with the convexity of indifference curve.